So let's uh, talk about how you got into the adult industry in the first place. Yeah. So um, when I was 18, my best friend, like growing up, introduced me to webcamming. Mm -hmm. And um, so funny. She was like, why don't we – I was working at Nordstrom's full time um, and going to college. And then – my best friend was like, why don't we do webcam? We could do Girl Girl together. And I did one show together, and I literally made, like, my whole paycheck in a week in that one night. And I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> um, but it was so funny because she was like, you need a name, you know. Um, her, na- her name was on her wall because it was, like, her parents' house. <laughs> and so it said, like, sweet dreams, Mariah, like, on the wall. <laughs> so she had to use her name. Oh, no, for the from, first like, part. when you were a kid. <laughs> like, I have, like, my daughter's name, yes. Violet, like, above her crib. <laughs> and so- Violet, if you ever start webcamming, we got to redecorate <laughs> your room. <laughs> Like, she's like, you got to think of a name. So I was like, okay. And so I was like looking all around her room and I was like, I saw these sandals like that are from Amazon and it said K-A-L-I on it. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool because I'm like from California. Mm, okay. You know, and a Cali with the yeah. K kind of sounds like a real name sort yeah. of. And I had my half, half of my back was already tattooed with roses. So I was like, okay. And then Rose will be my last name. And so I webcammed for like two and a half years. And then I was recruited basically um, for it to be Twisty's Treat of the Month in 2016. Mm-hmm. And then um, and then, and then I dated a guy in the porn industry. And I was just webcamming. And I was like dabbling kind of into like doing my own content. But this was like – before that was like really a big thing so it was more so like I dated a guy in the porn industry and he was like you're gonna do these scenes with me and I was like okay you know and I was just submitting by the man at the time Mm -hmm. I was just young and yeah so um I did my first anal scene for free oh no (laughs) no yes and it was on his website it got on Pornhub like I didn't even have the content for a really long time yeah, and then but then Pornhub like went through that phase where they were paying people. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I finally got my money like four years later. But <laughs> yeah, after like it had already been viewed a million times. Yeah, and so at that point, the person that recruited me, they were like, "You're not going to be able to get it down, so you might as well just like do porn," you know? Yeah. So I did. Yeah, and I love it. I mean, yeah. t- to be <laughs> fair, that is that is not untrue, yeah. but that's kind of an interesting way to look at it. I mean, yeah. were you already thinking? That it was a career that you could do? Yeah, it was hard because um, I got into webcamming and with my family, like, they were already, like, they didn't know anything about it. So, like, my family was like, you're going to get AIDS, you're going to die. And I'm like, I'm fucking myself. (laughs) So, first of all, like, get your facts right. (laughs) You're going to get AIDS and die. Yeah. (laughs) Literally. (laughs) And so then, um, but then, yeah, so then I just started doing, so it was like a slow, gradual thing. I wasn't trying to like get right into it right Mm away. Honestly, I was making so much money on my own doing webcam Mm -hmm. that I didn't have to do porn. Mm -hmm. But because, but also too, when I was doing webcam, like since everyone saw that anal video, they would come into my room and like bring a guy do anal like mm-hmm. you know and it was Once like you go anal you can never yeah. go back it's just like it's always just pushing the envelope yeah. yes literally so so do you do webcaming now i don't anymore no. okay and yeah. what you're doing are you you're still shooting for brands yes i'm assuming you probably have an only fans yes definitely. and that's probably where you're if you're like most girls it's probably where you're making majority of your money yeah for sure do you miss the webcamming at all or was it really draining because i know that sometimes girls will be on for like eight hours a day i know there was times where i was on for like 12 and i mean i would take like breaks but i worked for this company that they did live jasmine and Uh it was like a house but there was two guys running it really was in a good situation oh no i found it on craigslist no (laughs) you were in a cam girl's house from craigslist (laughs) yeah no this is like the (laughs) beginning of like a disaster disaster (laughs) and like they would give me like uh adderall to stay up 
And then, like, I couldn't even take a break to eat. So I'd be eating nachos, like, in, you know, when you're waiting to go to private. Uh Like, that, I don't know, like, that open, free, like, whatever. Yeah. So I'd be, like, twerking and eating nachos. (laughs) Like, just zoomed into my ass. I'm like, I got to eat, all right? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no, that's funny, but also not funny at all. That's really – did you have a hard time getting out of that? Or did they just – Yeah, they tried to scare me, too, because it was just such a bad situation. There was, like, a, it was really a couple and abuse. There was, like, it was bad. Like, it was really bad. And they wanted me to move with them to Florida. But I was like, I don't know anyone in Florida. And I don't want to get kicked out on my ass in Florida. Like, yeah. I'd rather get kicked out where I, like, know people in California versus, like, a whole new state. And they, like, got all mad about that. So I eventually got kicked out. Because actually, too, um, on Live Jasmine, you know, they have all these rules. Like, you can't be underage. You can't pretend, like, role play underage. Um, You can't be do incest or anything. Mm -hmm. And I went to a private show, and some guy was like, yeah, you're 15 and my sister, right? And I was like, yeah. Take it down. (laughs) So then they kicked me out of the house. They were like, get out of the house and stuff. So, And then I went back to Corona because I was actually in Sherman Oaks that I ended up doing all that. Mm -hmm. And I went back to Corona and started doing webcam like on my own with my best friend that I started with. Right. Yeah. Is that company, those people still around? No, thank God. Yeah, I feel like I've heard a lot of stories like that from girls who've gotten into that that situation. Awful, and, but yeah. I think a lot of those are those are kind Dying of gone out. now. Yeah. Yeah. Especially yeah. because, you know, platforms like OnlyFans just give girls yes. so much it's personal freedom. So awesome. It's crazy. Love that for us. 